Hey everyone, it's Mandy from Daydream Face Painting. Today I'm going to be showing you this spider princess look using this, the tag one stroke and the color pansy. So if you'd like to see how I did this, keep watching. So here I used BAM stencil number 2012 and superstar lilac purple, but in the end you didn't really get to see this part and it just got covered up so you can skip that step. Now I'm going to load up my tag pansy one stroke with my 3 4 inch flat brush and I'm gonna pull a loop around and over the cheekbone and then back to the center and up and around and down to the edge of my brush. And next I'm gonna pull a large loop right in the center of my forehead and just fill in the little space that didn't get filled in. And I'm gonna come to the right side and make another loop and the left side and make another loop. Then I'll reload my brush and I'm going to come back up and make two comma shapes coming in on each side. So next I'll go in with some global strong black and pull in two long comma shapes. Then I'll come back up to the top and loop those both around and I'll repeat that process on both sides. And next, along the top of the cheekbone, I'll pull in a series of four teardrops swooping upwards and repeat the process on the other side. And now I'll go in with some Superstar Purple number 038 and I'm gonna make a series of small and large dots around the two smaller loops. With my brush still loaded with that color, I'm just gonna come into the inside edges of the black loops and shade them in with some of the Superstar Purple. And next, with a number three brush, really well loaded with Global Strong Black, I'm going to come in and make a series of large and small dots around the largest loop as well. And then I'll add a series of three dots coming in from the inner corners of the eyes. And next, with some DFX White loaded on a number one brush, I'm gonna pull a series of starbursts throughout the design. And now I've put some skin-friendly adhesive on the gem and I'm putting it in the center of the design. And I'm gonna come back in with a little bit of the Global Strong Black. I felt like this needed a few extra swirls pointing inward, so I'm doing a series of three swirls looping around on each side. And now for the spider's body, I'm just gonna paint the head first, kind of a round dot with two little bumps on the top, and then the abdomen of the spider. And then you always want your spider legs coming from the top portion of the spider to make it look more realistic. So I'm going to try to get on the very tip of my brush and almost pull tiny, tiny little teardrop shapes. One to the left and down and then back up and another one in the inside of that. Then I'll come to the other side and do the same thing. And then your legs pointing downward, the same thing. Almost a little tiny teardrop and another tiny little teardrop and then the inner portion of the leg facing back in toward the abdomen. And now for a more 3D effect on the spider's body, I'm just coming in with some white and I'm highlighting one side of its body and then each leg. And I felt like the highlights were a little too strong, but that's no big deal. I just came back in with a damp brush and I even them out a little bit. And now to give this a more spidery feel, we'll come in with some U shapes on each side and connect the two lines that we made. 
And then with a well-loaded number five low corno brush, I'm coming in with some more of the DFX white and adding some white dots on top of our black swirls. And that's it, that's the finished design. I hope you guys like this and you can try it out at your next Halloween themed event. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.